Nadar, north of Kabul city. It's about 20 homes here and they have a, a farm growing, these look like mulberries. And we're here to test a wind turbine water pumping system that doesn't use batteries. And we've got two turbines with a rotor diameter, each of a rotor diameter of four meters, two meter blades, that are going to work together to pump water from one pump with an electronic control system that we have utilizing a VFD variable frequency drive and a, a circuit to control the VFD. So here we have a, a dump, dump load and the circuit calculates when the voltage gets too high for the VFD and it clamps the voltage so that the VFD doesn't go into air. So here we have the circuit. This is our control circuit with two MSP430 chips, one controlling the dump load, the other controlling the VFD, both taking a voltage sample measurement from the DC bus of the VFD. And here we have a Chinese, it's a bit dark, Chinese VFD, that's a four kilowatt VFD. And it has a 220 volt, but three phase input and 220 volt Three phase output. I'm not really sure. That doesn't make so much sense to me. But we're at the moment we're just using a single phase water pump on the output. It's just a 500 watt water pump. So here. here we can see the voltage. It's 309 on the DC bus. So we just hit, triggered the circuit and the VFD is now on with that frequency to sort of a minimum frequency, it's about four and a half hertz. But it'll start the water pump nice and slow and then if there's power available, then the frequency will go up. So what we've seen just now is that the voltage, because of the wind turbine, there's not very much wind at the moment, the voltage has gone down below 200 volts, which is b below the minimum voltage for the VFD. So the VFD has gone into an error mode, low voltage error mode. And the circuit takes a signal from the VFD. And actually we're even getting to be too low voltage for the circuit to run. So now it's off. But the, the circuit knows that that there's an error that the VFD is in error mode and we'll wait until the voltage goes back up to restart the to the water pump in the VFD. So to control the the dump load we have these um, these solid state relays and they do a good job of clamping the voltage. That clicking was the VFD just turning off because there's no power, because the wind turbines are not really turning. And at the moment we have no wind, but I'll be back on to, uh, to show you what happens when there is some wind, if there is some wind today. But the idea with using a VFD, um, has a sort of multi-purpose. We found that when we drove the water pump directly from the output of the wind turbine, even though the, the frequency and the voltage was correct, we couldn't, we had a difficult time making sure that the water pump was turning on sometimes, because when the induction motor of the water pump uh, starts up, it takes a lot of, draws a lot of current. Um, if it doesn't start up properly, then that's not gonna be very good for the water pump over time. Um, so sometimes it would start on start up properly and sometimes it wouldn't. 
So that would be another way to do it, but we found that we didn't think it was going to be as reliable. In fact, on that turbine, there's a flywheel. It was one idea of, um, of helping to make sure that the current was available to turn on the, the, the water pump. It's in fact the flywheel. Nadar, north of Kabul city. It's about 20 homes here and they have uh, a farm growing, these look like mulberries. And we're here to test a wind turbine water pumping system that doesn't use batteries. And we've got two turbines with a rotor diameter, each of a rotor diameter of four meters, two meter blades, that are going to work together to pump water from one pump with an electronic control system that we have utilizing a VFD variable frequency drive and a, a circuit to control the VFD. So here we have a, a dump, dump load and the circuit calculates when the voltage gets too high for the VFD and it times the voltage so that the VFD doesn't go into air. So here we have the circuit. This is our control circuit with two MSP430 chips, one controlling the dump load, the other controlling the VFD both taking a voltage sample measurement from the DC bus of the VFD. And here we have a Chinese, it's a bit dark. And his VFD, that's a four kilowatt VFD. And it has a 220 volt, but three phase input and 220 volt, three phase output. I'm not really sure, that doesn't make <laughs> Okay, so Atikula just, just was listening for the water in the pipe and it, uh, it came out and hit him in the side of the head. We started on the gutter of the Shomitan. Atikula! Okay, man. Started on Taras! Okay, so at the moment, you see that we're maxing out. We don't want the voltage to really go above 380 volts DC. And right at the moment, about 62, 63 frequencies going down. back up. So the circuit controls based on the voltage. We want the voltage to stay high, so based on the voltage, the, the signal for the frequency goes up and down. It goes up slowly and down quickly to take the load off so that the voltage can stay high. So if we look at the Not looking at a lot of power, but we're 4.4 amps, and, and if I change this, AC, that's going to be right. So that is 235 volts. It's quite interesting that the, the real, the other, I didn't mention, but one of the benefits of using the VFD is that it applies a slow start to the, um, 
soft start sorry, to the water pump. So it should consistently turn it on nice and smoothly. یه کرده خود او میتنی منطقه از توربین بادی که اینجا بچه ها پاپا گرفتن بلند بگیر 